Are you going to put flour in that? Boy, what are we doing? Okay. All right. All right. That's enough. All right. Okay. All right. Boy, that's wow, a, well, a good-looking audience tonight. Isn't Look this at a that. good-looking oh, audience? Boy. This is one of the nicest-looking yeah. audience we've had. And most of them are sober, I think. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, welcome to the garage again. We're here with At Home on the Range, the cooking show for the deranged. And I know we have another deranged recipe tonight. What are we making? Oh, we got a terrific recipe. In fact, this is probably one of the best things we've ever done. It's a sesame chicken. Uh-huh. Sesame chicken on Ooh, the you're pasta their dish. Approval. The pasta dish. I stole this from a restaurant over here on the corner. Very good, very good. Well, yep. before we start, can I just go through some viewer mail? Oh, not, I know, a, not I, again. <laughs> did, is this real viewer mail or did you write it? No, this is real viewer mail. It's real? Mail. Okay, all right. People really write to I us. I can't believe that. <clears throat> this is not mail, this is the recipe. No, that's the recipe, but all this right. is in my folder so that I don't Okay, lose but it. we need this or I won't be able to make the stuff. I never stopped you before. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead, read the mail. Okay, it says, Dear John and Barbara, my family watches your show every week and think the two of you are a hoot. The best hoot. thing okay. on TV. Why aren't you guys on Channel 5, Channel 9, or Channel 11? Why are you still on local cable? Haven't the TV executives of the world discovered you yet? Where can I write so you can get into the big leagues? You should be sharing oh, your comedy with more than just Orange County. And this is from Janie in Costa Mesa. Barbara, well, now I know you wrote that. No, I, I can tell. Write this. I can tell. You know, I can tell. He doesn't believe that people actually write to us. Look at yeah, all these not people that in the no, audience not, not tonight. That one. They, they, if you want to be an audience member, all you need to do is call the phone number on your screen, and we can get you in to, to see one of our shows live here in the garage. But you know that letter is is something that. We get, we get a lot of that. People really okay. do want to know how we're going to make it from, from this cable to, to real TV. Really? And we, we two, are trying. Did we, we get are two trying. Letter, did we get two letters? <laughs> let's, write the, let's read the second one. Well, we, we, got, we got a lot of letters. we got to cook. You know that. Well, can I say a few things Please. Here? Yeah, say, okay. say a few things. Another spoon. Oh, a spoon. If you've been watching our show, you know we wow. have that one lousy spoon. Look at this. Now, now Barbara won't get burnt. That Look I have there. been complaining about from day one, that we need a yeah. longer spoon, and Sue from The Sound of Music, who's here in our audience, brought us the spoon. So thank you, Sue. It's not as pretty as the spoon is. The red is well, it's, it's also not as decrepit and, and It's a perfectly good spoon. I've had that for a long time. It's a good spoon. I'm glad you're not going to wear well, it out I'm anymore. I am just thrilled to the my right. panties that I have a new spoon. And, and then we, we have some distinguished restaurateurs in the audience. Really? Yes. I can't believe that. How can they be distinguished in restaurateurs? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> can't be. Okay. Well, well, who we have in the audience is we have your son, Andy Cream who just uh, bought the Villanova. And I'm so glad, I'm so glad, because before Andy bought the restaurant and became a restaurateur, he was a shepherd. And in Orange... <laughs> and, and in Orange County, there just is not much call for shepherds anymore. Yeah. I don't know. Well, sitting over with him is Jim and, and he wasn't very good either, because when he'd get around the sheep, they would get very nervous. <laughs> Oh, boy. Well, <laughs> well we, sitting, with, sitting with Andy is Jim Dale, who is the former owner of the Villanova. So we just want to say hello to them. And congratulations to both of you for dumping the Villanova on this guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Well, did, you, did you finish the mail? Yes, that's all the mail I'm okay. going to do for today, even though we all do right. have a lot, a lot of letters. We do. All right. Can we put this in the pot now so it can be... We, we can do can whatever cooking. you'd like. Well, I want to put this in the pot. Now, I'm going to break this in two. Oh, because, I don't think you should. Yes, I should, because the long, the long things, you can't, you know, wrap them around your fork, and it's, it's very difficult, you know? So we're going to put those in right now and get this going, because this is going to take 10 minutes, and this is only a 21-minute show, and that's practically half of it. Now, where's your little spoon? Give it a little, kind of a little stir with the spoon. Would you do that? All right. All right, all right. My new spoon. Right. Now, 
matches the stove very nicely. And I see you have carrots Fresh again. Fresh carrots. Barbara is allergic to carrots. They make her break out, so I try to have them all the time. <laughs> yeah. She gets red in the face. I get red in the face, I sneeze, I have the worst time with carrots, and he uses them on every single show. I think he's trying to send me no. a message. You know what? This is the goofiest thing I have ever seen. There's little pieces of pasta in Just this stir pot. it, Barbara. Just stir it. You know, I don't think I've ever been to a real restaurant where I've been served spaghetti that was broken in half. You probably haven't. No, no, they don't. Is this a, is this a new trend? This is new. This is Irish spaghetti. You break it in half. That's right. St. <laughs> Patrick's Day was just with us, you know. Okay, now we're going to cut these, these wow, carrots up in little pieces. this is a big of a pan. Well, that, you, you know, that's our free pan we got from that, that... Hey, they didn't give us any money, so don't mention their name. That potential sponsor that we got. <laughs> <laughs> we were, but they, we got a whole set of pots from her, so what the heck. Yeah, I know, that's and then she never bought an ad, so we, we made out. She did well. I mean, by not buying an ad. But that is pretty good stuff, you know that? It's still heavy. That is good cookware. No, it's nice. It really is. And it's very inexpensive. Well, yes, it was free to us. No, I mean, the price she had on it, I forget what it was, but for, for what it was, it was, it was very inexpensive. So, now, you know what we got to do? And, instead of you standing around, you suppose you can put about maybe three tablespoons full of olive oil in that pan and turn the fire on? Can you do that? You won't need your spoon. Lay your spoon down right there. All right. Oh, boy. Okay, now, that stuff's expensive, Barbara. Be careful. Don't, don't well, be wasting I did, it. I did three. You know, it was a big pan, so you, you really need a little more to cover the, in this pan. Well, in we're going to put some more in later, so three is, 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 okay. is what we get. That's, the recipe says... Says a total of six. We put okay, in three now. Okay, so how now. many carrots? All these carrots. This is one cup of carrots. Are you sure? Well, fairly sure. Should we measure them? No, okay. why there's break a, our a record? There's a half a cup. There's a three quarters. There's one cup right there. Now, now we're going to put those in the pan. Did you turn the fire on? No. Why not? Because you didn't say that, right? Didn't he just say? Okay. So we're going to wait now. We're going to wait now. When that when that pan gets hot, put the carrots well, in. Well, you okay. know, you got to be kidding me. This is a metal. A metal handle. Yes. Now, how am I supposed to hold this handle? I didn't tell you to hold the handle. I told you to turn the fire on. <laughs> but this, this is, eventually I'm going to get burnt, and I have enough trouble with that on my own. You get burnt every week anyhow, so what's the difference? <laughs> but now my chance has just increased. <laughs> how come this doesn't have a handle on it? Because it was free. <laughs> yeah. You pay money for a pan, you get a handle, you know? There's a one pound of, of chicken breast uh, that one goes pound. in there. One pound. And did you, is this skinless and fatless? Skinless and fatless and, and all sorts of good stuff. Now, shouldn't you have pounded that out like you usually do? I don't usually pound out chicken breast. That's veal we pound out. Oh, okay. All Sorry. Right. It kind of all looks the same to me. Yeah, I imagine it does, yeah. So what do I do with the carrots now? Well, when that gets hot, put them in a pan. Put them in anyhow. It's going to get hot whether you put them in or not. I don't hear it sizzling. Turn the fire on, It's Barbara. sizzling. It is on. It is. But now these carrots absorbed all that oil, so now you have greasy carrots. That's right. Greasy carrots. All right. Okay. How are they? Should no. I add the chicken to this, too? No. No, 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 no. Wait. Go. Stir, the, stir the carrots so they don't cook all on one side. All right. Boy. This stirring is a thankless job. Oh, <laughs> I wonder if Andy, Andy, do you need some help in the kitchen at the Villanova? God. Boy. Hey, um, how do you know when the spaghetti's done? Oh, we, oh, we forgot to set the timer. Ha! But you know how you could also know? How long has it been going? If you take some and it's you throw it up against the wall. Jeez. Oh, it didn't stick. No, no, no. You know, that's been going about five minutes. That's right. Jim Dale says that that's for real life. God. Because, you know, if it's done too much, it's awful. You know that? I know. If it's done too much. Yeah. No, if it's done too much, it's really awful. It really is. Boy. Are there Little any left? Little are trying to escape. That's because there's too much oil in the pan. I think they're just like... Yeah, they're slippery. All right. Now... They're sliding and they're having a good now, time. Now. What? I've got a bowl of nose again. Chicken?
I've got to blow my nose again. Let's put the chicken in now. It's too soon, but let's put it in anyhow. You okay, think so? now it's going to spatter and, 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 and all sorts of bad stuff because there's water in there. Okay, stir it around. Okay, let's right. stir this around. You know, a I made, symphony of colors. You know, I made this this afternoon and had it for dinner, and it's terrific. It really is really? great. Yes, it is terrific. Huh. It now, let me good. see. Are you saying that with a straight face? Yes, absolutely. Oh, boy. This is one of the better recipes. I mean, most of the stuff we've done on this show isn't really fit to eat, but this stuff, <laughs> this is really good. This really is. But okay, while they're working, they're great. Hey, hey, what do you think about, ooh, this pasta? You know, there's, there is a special utensil. I saw it in the store that is for pasta. It has little prongs on it. A pasta grabber. We have two of them. No, we don't. Yes, we do. Where? We've got one here. What happened to it? Ha, I should have betted money. Damn. Wow, we had two. We had two pasta grabbers. Well, now we don't have any. Boy, there's been a thief in the, in the kitchen here. Can you believe oh, that? Oh, boy. Well, ha so How are we going to serve this stuff? I don't know. They're both like, gone. Because, like, look, it falls right off. They are both gone. Well, now, this is a dilemma. I can't How are we going to get this stuff out of the pan? I cannot believe that. We had a, we had a wooden one and we had a metal one. Well... Okay, we let's see. How about if I improvise? Well, we don't need to grab the pasta now because it's got to cook first, Barbara. Well, how do we know if it's ready? Because you didn't do the timer right. The bell will ring. No, but you didn't do the timer right. Yeah, but I... I, I, I In I've... fact, the timer's not on. The timer is... You know it isn't. We are in trouble. Look at that! We are in trouble. Oh, a pasta what grabber. Magic? All right, all right. But why isn't this thing... Why isn't this thing working? I don't know. It's not working. But I think we should try the old throw it against the door routine. Ow! <laughs> Can I use your, your spoon here? We gotta, Look at that. Isn't we that gotta, wild? we got to get the chicken done on all four sides. You oh, know. okay. It'll be nice. Sorry. Yes. Yeah, because pink chicken is not good. Well, you know, how do they grab it and throw it now? It's too hot. <laughs> no. Oh. Well, it's stuck. Oh, boy. Barbara, you've been in the, just too many movies. I think this is done. Taste it. Let's see. Let's see here. Here, taste it. It's taste hot. Taste one. I know. Ooh, that's hot. It's probably. Tough it uh, up. It's probably. Uh, what do you think? Because you don't want it too mushy. No, it's done. Isn't that done? It's hey, done. Do you want to know pasta or do you want to know pasta? All right. Now Except we don't we have, have a. Except we have to remember to clean it off the wall there before now our next we don't... show. <laughs> Barbara, we don't have our strainer. What are we going to do? We don't have a strainer either? we got to drain this. How are we going to strain it? Oh, I, you know what? I have an idea. Oh, um, boy. This should be good. Barbara with an idea. That's exciting. Okay. What you do is you, is you, you, you take a piece of this, right, it's and you just let it drain out of there. Good idea. We'll try Isn't that. Isn't that a good idea? Terrific idea, Barbara. All right. We'll do Where it Where is way. it? It's underneath. <laughs> oh, wait. Wait. I got it. Did you find it? That's the, this is the French fryer, but I guess we can use it for a strainer. This is, what is that hanging on there? Um, the price tag, it was $18. For, no. But this is the French fryer, this is not the, do you think well, you can, well, we'll use it. What okay. do you think? Or should we do it the, the other way? No, oh. we'll do it this way. Stir the chicken. Okay. So how do I know when this is done? Well, when the chicken is brown. That's what the recipe says. Well, it's says. kind of turning yellow. Yellow. It's a little brown, brownish, you know. Okay. Bart, what are you doing, Barbara? Well, because my husband keeps crawling up in front of you. And I know he's trying to tell me something, but communication is a little difficult. Stir the chicken, all right, now. I don't understand, Stanley, where is it? Where is what? The handle is in the box on the side. Well, there is no damn box on this side. What handle? You, what are you talking about? We don't want that on there. What are you talking about? You know, sometimes I think that they just do this to me and send me off in the wrong direction so people would think I'm dumb. They would never think that, Barbara. <laughs> now... 
<laughs> now this is the good stuff we're going to put in here, Barbara. Now we're going to do this. Do this. Real important. We're going to put this sesame, and this stuff is really expensive. I mean, uh oh, the, the pasta's done. <laughs> okay. All right. So two tablespoons full. Two tablespoons. Yes. No. That's about four dollars worth. Really, very expensive. Very expensive. All right. Now stir the that around. All greasy. Stir that around good. Okay. Keep stirring. I'm stirring. I'm stirring. <laughs> okay. All right. The label is greasy because the oil is greasy and it gets on the label. Now. Okay. Why aren't you stirring? I got the message. This is the this is the handle to the pot. And these, it's supposed to slip on. This, this is not hot now. It won't be hot, and it's all right. Don't well, worry I'm about that. Well, planning for the future. Here. Well, the future is this chicken's going to be burned if we don't get to cooking here. <laughs> God. Well, now it won't go in. I got it half, half off. <laughs> oh, Barbara. Okay, now, this is, this is sesame seeds. Oh, they stick in your teeth. Yes, they do. Two tablespoons full. So if you have dentures, this is not the recipe for Two you. Two tablespoons. Now stir. Stir, kid. Stir. Okay, it's shaking right. in the bacon. <laughs> well, I liked our Circulon cookware. What's, what's the problem? Well, because now I got this, like, limp thing. <laughs> God. Jeez. Oh, boy. Nah. You know, it's... it's it's easy to see why we're still on cable TV, you know? It's really easy. Hey, one of these days, Stir we're going to make Stir the that. jump. I doubt it. Keep, the, keep stirring there. Okay. Now, that is really getting good. Doesn't that even smell good? This is really in getting good. Woo. Isn't that great? Oh, I can't right. stand it. It's wonderful. All right. All right. So now we're going to put some mushrooms in there. No. Now, don't break the mushrooms in a million pieces. Just stir them around, you know? Whoa. Okay. You know, we should have a higher pan, because this way the stuff wouldn't escape. It won't escape if you don't flip it out of there, you know. Well, it's part of my stirring technique. Which is terrible. <laughs> now, now we're going to put some, some, these are frozen peas that aren't frozen anymore because they thawed out. Now, the orange and the green, isn't that, isn't that pretty? Oh, boy, the isn't that lovely? That? Sure, the camera's right above All you. All right. All right. Even our audience can see that. Yeah. All right. Now, okay, here's a question. If this was really frozen and then it defrosted in the pan, wouldn't there be water in the pan? Well, it would evaporate because the pan is hot. At least the part of the pan that's on the stove is hot. Oh. Now, we're going to put some more we're going to put some more sesame oil in here. So this won't all stick You're together. You big on the right? sesame oil. Yeah. All right. Another four dollars worth right there. Wow, so this is an right. expensive dish. This is really expensive, yes. Wow, we hit the big time. All right. With our limp handle here. I think your handle's been limp for a long time. <laughs> oh, boy. I don't get that. Uh, we're going to... Uh, oops. What happened to our olive oil? Oh. All right, all right. Now, uh, I, I'm not going to even ask. I'm just going to go get it. The measuring spoon, you know? Measuring spoon. Oh, you threw me with that one. It wasn't in the sink. Oh, there it is. All right. All right. Well, you know, I mean, my so, job is to stir. So now this is olive oil. We're going to put some olive oil in here. Well, we put so three, much. There's three, four. Okay, okay. <laughs> Now stir that up, all right? Okay, so there's no salt Keep or pepper stirring. or no, anything no, like no that No, no bad in stuff this? in there. No. No. Isn't this going to be This olive oil is very expensive, too. Well, hey, only the best for our audience. Yeah. Now, we've got to have a measuring cup. Yeah, we've got a measuring cup. Terrific. I've got bottled water tonight because I didn't have any filtered, anything to put the filtered water in. Because the water out of here tastes awful. Newport Beach water is the worst. <laughs> I mean, it is terrible. Well, I'm sure the city fathers will really appreciate that comment. Boy, they should. Oh, I want to put some. Uh... Now, this is a great product right here. And you know, a lot of people don't even know about this anymore. They used to. Old people know about it. But this, this Wondra right here, mm -hmm. this stuff here, it is so good. 
because it's so easy to, to dissolve in water. And it's flour is all it is. It's flour. And why don't you say flour on it? Why can't you say flour? Well, because flour? it's beaded up in little things that make it dissolve easy. So it's not lumpy like usually you yeah, do? Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's about right. Okay. Now, I should have my little, my little whiskey thing, but I don't, so I'll use this. I keep stirring, Barbara. Okay, okay. Oh, that is, look, can, you, can the camera see that? That looks so good. Oh, yeah. That is so, oh, boy. Wow. And with all those sesame seeds to get in your teeth, oh, wow. Well. Now, we're going to put this in there. And now, now we've got to just keep stirring until it thickens. That's going to thicken a little bit and get to make a nice sauce. Where did you learn to stir? Your mother must have taught you how to stir, didn't she? You know, everybody blames things on your mother, and that's really not true. My mother was a good cook. She was. It's just that I never paid it attention. It was your grandmother that was a rotten cook. Yes, my wasn't grandmother. Now that's yeah. another story. Yeah. Oh boy. She was a terrible cook, but everything she made smelled really good. And then you'd sit down to eat it, and boy, were you surprised! <laughs> wow. And you know, it's really hard because my grandmother was Italian, so you figure, oh, this nice, boy. big, robust Italian lady, you come up to her house, and you think. Mmm, that smells great. And then you'd sit down and you'd eat it, and it was like Play-Doh. Boy. Do you know, in 1946, I almost married an Italian girl. Really? I escaped, though. Wow. <laughs> boy, it was, it was a close call, I'll tell you. Her name was Angela Cuneo. Oh, boy. Yes. So that's a fallacy that all this Italians is... know how to cook. I don't know any of them that know how to cook. They surrender great. <laughs> Okay, all right. Well, you know, this is the 90s. Women don't have to cook. That's right. They That's don't... right. We have other attributes, like making reservations. Okay. <clears throat> I think okay, we're... that looks wonderful. It is wonderful. We've got to take a picture of that before it dries out. Now, you, uh... <laughs> So this, now this, will, this recipe will feed a family of five. Four, actually. Four. But I had one extra bowl here, so I just used it. Okay. We're going to run out. Okay. Before we get the fifth one. Do we, um, you mentioned some seasoning. Yes, I've got it. Should we do that crushed, now? Yes, crushed red pepper and Parmesan. And we don't use that, that cheap Parmesan that you grade from the brick. We got it in a green box. There it is. <laughs> the expensive right. stuff. Yeah, the good stuff, yeah. The stuff you, that probably has all chemicals and no cheese. You know, Wally George called me yesterday. He did? Yeah, yeah. What do you want, another guest appearance no, on our show? No, he's going to open a restaurant. He want to tell me about it. Really? Over by Fullerton, Fullerton College. What's it going to be called? Wally George's All-American Restaurant. Really? Yeah, he's going he's gonna to serve all-American food, like hamburgers and stuff like that. Well, I hope he wasn't calling for a recipe, was he? <laughs> he wanted to know if we could, we could plug it a little bit. Well, sure. Go down to Wally's. <laughs> and while you're at it, we're, at it, we're red, white, and blue. Have nice. you ever seen his show? Oh, Hot sure. Seat? I watch it all the time. Yeah. You do? Well, certainly. Who wouldn't watch his show? It's a terrific show. Most people think he's a lunatic. I, I don't know if you know that or not. <laughs> all right. Can we go is now? It, is the show over? This is it. All right. Let's I stop I think we've then. done our 21 minutes. 21 minutes. Okay. So, so we'll see you next time. Can folks. we? Bye.